Welcome back to Applied Houdini for Dynamics 5 Explosion Volumetrics. We're finally going to talk about fire in your pyro sim. In particular, we're going to add temperature and fuel, which is going to drive the combustion model, which will yield smoke, it's going to yield flames, it's going to yield more temperature. That chain reaction is governed by a whole bunch of settings on the pyro solver. Um, everything from the gas expansion to how much smoke is generated to uh, how fast things should cool off, all that stuff we're going to get into. Um, we're also going to talk about a uh, different microsolver, the shredding microsolver, which will help give some cool shape to your simulation. And as usual, I'm going to talk about a whole bunch of cool production te techniques and tricks to get you to a cool looking explosion faster. It's very easy to go wrong with pyrosolver stuff. Uh, there's so many settings, it's it's hard to just kind of feel your way around in. So. I'm going to help you out there. I'm going to show you some really cool stuff to make kind of a, a burst of flame, kind of like a fireball. Um, anyway, I think you're going to love it. So, enjoy.